I'm going to add this in as an edit, but I want to see what Champside got to say. I don't know if y'all follow Champside, but Champside been going so hard for folding and, and dissecting a new age resume and saying he trash and he's, he's horrible and crack, you know, cracking on this everybody who he's beating and making fun of the people names and all that crazy stuff. And he didn't even go live for the fights. So I want to see what he said because he was going the hardest against the new way. He was dang near making it personal. Clowning him, turning it into a joke for Foden. And Foden got stopped. So, yeah, I want to hear that. I'm waiting for that that champ side live. I don't know if y'all with me, but I'm, I'm ready for that champ side live. Hey, dog, listen, I got to give Naoya and a new way. Dang, I got to start that over. I want to give Naoya Inoue all the credit in the world. Dude went in there and he handled his business. Like, I wasn't the biggest believer. Still not necessarily the biggest believer in Inoue, but I can at least admit whenever I'm wrong. Like, before going into this fight, I had already stated in the boxing groups to all my homies that I felt like neither Inoue nor Fulton were special fighters. And I still feel that way. I feel like, you know, they're B-minus kind of fighters, but... I just slightly edged Fulton. But I will admit, yesterday before this fight, I went and watched one of Fulton's fights. And I can't, I forgot who it was against. It was against some Asian dude. But I wasn't impressed at all. Like, Fulton, not that good on the inside, likes to jab on the outside, doesn't throw combinations that well, very tentative. You know what I'm saying? So... Then I was like, you know what? Now I'm gonna stick with my picks. I don't want to be a flip flopper, but looks like I should have uh, <laughs> kept my pick, switched to a new way. So hats off to a new way. He did a great job fighting Fulton. I mean, he shut down anything Fulton was trying to do. All the only thing Fulton wanted to do the whole fight was really just jab. He didn't want to get on the inside. He realized that a new way was uh, more athletic, fast, twitchy, quick in and out than even he imagined so i don't know who he was sparring with but he didn't do a good job trying to find you know the the best match or maybe it was just a matchup nightmare with fulton's kind of pot shotting kind of style like he wasn't active enough like you got to get in there and throw combinations improve your defense move your head beat him to the punch use that jab to set up a one two or a hook he couldn't do it the new way was shutting all that down man it was it was pure domination. <laughs> Fulton didn't, didn't win a round. Who saw that coming? I thought it would be a little back and forth, and then whoever would win. Fulton didn't win a single round. Not a round, dude. That's crazy. He didn't win a round, and he got stopped. Anue got stopped. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fulton got stopped. Anue stopped Fulton. No, I didn't see that coming. I didn't think anybody was getting knocked out. That dude, not only did he dominate him, he finished him in half the rounds. He he stopped that dude in six rounds. Yeah, man. Hats off to Inoue. I understand his pound-for-pound status a lot better now. He came over to America, and he did it against the best. You got to respect it. That's all I wanted him to do. I'm like, bro, you can keep beating up all them Asian fighters. We know Asia has some of the lowest competition boxing worldwide on average. So my whole thing was, bro, if you can do that over here in America, you the truth. And not only did he do it, he stopped him. He stamped it. So basically, Inoue just made his name in America off of Fulton. So Fulton got to go back to the drawing board. You know what I mean, dude? I don't know if he lost both titles or is it just one. Pretty sure Fulton had two titles. So I don't know if that was for both of his titles, but if it is, and God dog, boy, all that Showtime and the Steven Jackson and all that stuff, all that just to lose, I know that boy is hurting. He got destroyed. So, yeah, hats off to the monster, bro. I don't know where he goes from here. I'm not too familiar with the 122 pound division like that like it's nobody really down there so hats off to a new way congratulations on the stoppage and uh we'll see where the dude goes from here mike